After the death of Madison Brooks, investigators say the LSU student was raped hours before she was hit by a car. LSU students are frustrated by the focus on underage drinking instead of sexual assault prevention. NBC Local 33 investigative reporter Ariel Salk joining us in studio now. Ariel. Renee Jacob, this has sparked a conversation on campus about consent because investigators revealed Madison Brooks was not or possibly was not able to give consent when she was allegedly assaulted. Tonight, LSU responding to the death of Madison Brooks, but what they're saying has students frustrated. It was um, extremely shocking and to me that that was his takeaway from the situation was the underage drinking. LSU President William Tate's message to students said in part, quote, our action plan starts with a deep and relentless focus on any establishment that profits off of our students by providing alcohol to underage individuals. That is not the main thing that happened to her and what really put her in danger. LSU Feminist and Action President Marissa Eisworth and College Democrats of LSU Advisor College Ferguson are demanding change from LSU leaders. We need him to bring us into the room and have an honest discussion. They are calling on President Tate to renew the contract with the organization Sexual Trauma Awareness and Response, better known as STAR. Although, obviously, there has been some underage drinking and that needs to be addressed, we shouldn't look at that as being the sole responsibility or the sole cause of what happened. Although LSU provides sexual assault prevention training, the president of STAR says many students might trust an outside source. When you have everything housed inside and there's already been a lack of trust um, and there's some institutional betrayal, even if the training they are providing is good, they're going to be met with just some suspicion. Now, the interim vice president of LSU says coming down on bars that serve minors is just one proposal. This legislative session, star advocates say they'll push for policies requiring education and con about consent and healthy relationships in K through 12 schools. Ariel Salk, NBC Local 33 News. All right, great reporting, Ariel. Thank you so much for that. Well, the two suspects connected to that case have bonded out.